Welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video game review of Majesty 2 Monster Kingdom. This is the third expansion pack for the series and it offers 10 missions. Uh, five of them are advanced and the other five are expert level. And, you know, just thinking that this is the third expansion, I was assuming that it would be pretty much similar to the others, just add some more missions and call it a day. But actually, uh, I was in for a pleasant surprise, as the, uh, the whole premise of this is completely different. Uh, you're basically ousted out of your kingdom, and you want to reclaim your throne, and you make some allies with some monsters, which is a little bit... Uh, a bit different, but hey, that's uh, how this one goes, and you get to learn how the monsters, uh, how their units are, and their powers, and their deities, and get to use all that, and to your goal to take back your kingdom. So quite uh, a different uh, scenario indeed. So here, I'm just going to fire up, uh, I haven't played this one yet. Basically, I'm collecting uh, relics of my uh, kingdom here, so I'm going to go for my scepter. Your Majesty! The um, the voice acting is good. It's the same. Sounds Sean Connery like. Um, it sometimes it deviates from the text a little bit. But all right. So Okay. We must occupy at least four sacred grounds with temples to Grumga. And one more thing. The Marquis de Werewolf has asked that we not build any Minotaur pyramids on these lands. He explains that these are his ancestral lands, and he warns that other not so civilized members of his family might misunderstand our intentions. Minotaur pyramids be built in the area. Uh, okay, so things are pretty much the same. Uh, the bazaar uh, has some different items. It looks a little bit different, but most of the stuff is pretty much uh, pretty similar. You get the archers, you got the mage. You kind of have like an equivalent to the rogues. All right. And, uh, all right. Alright, so I'm just kind of building here, some, get some archers going. Similar, um, they got their own deities. And just like the previous game, they obey by explore flags, attack, defense, and fear. And it, money is what motivates them, so if you want something done, put a price tag on it and uh, it'll probably happen. Alright, so that's pretty much how this goes. It looks like I I lost my mouse here, so I'm kind of limited. <laughs> this is uh, trouble with the screen capture software. But, so yeah, that's, everything's a little bit different, but uh, same fun gameplay. Uh, it's pretty humorous at times. Uh, a lot of the missions are kind of like time attack based, where you, if you do it within 30 days or whatever, you get a bonus. Or it gets a lot harder if you don't. Uh, money is always tight, as you see. I'm less to a less than a thousand gold, but uh, the you make money by the you know the blacksmith or the bazaar and stuff. So uh, there's some swearing, there's some violence, uh, obviously some like undead stuff. Uh, if a character dies instead of a cemetery, it's now called the gates of hell, and it's kind of like fire and brimstone area there, lava and whatnot. So. Yep, that's pretty much how this expansion goes. Uh, it's ten missions. Uh, again, there's no... I haven't found anybody online to play with, but if you like the single-player campaigns and you like the challenge of advanced or expert play, I'd say definitely check it out. And if you want more gold, do what I do. Get Cheat Engine and hack your gold amount. So, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.